All right, you guys. So what are we going to do if we're not indexed? Okay. So we have it in our listing and we're not showing up on Amazon. You know, we're not getting, we're not getting that Jeff Bezos love. We put him in our listing and he's not, he's no, we're not getting his love. All right. We're not going to be the next billionaire <laughs> billionaire spouse. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do? All right. How do we re like get a shot at Jeff Bezos? What do we do to re index? Well, the first thing that, that he just said, it's in our listing. So that would be the first check. Make sure that you have it in your listing. Maybe you forgot it. All right. Or maybe you, you, um, you know, you thought you had put it in your listing, but you didn't. So just double check. Okay. Good. That you yeah. Did put in your listing. That's, yeah. That's check one. All right. Number two is what I guess the, the, que the, the question is, why aren't you indexed? And there's a, a variety of reasons. Oh, um, with Jeff Bezos, you know, that might not be as clear for this one. Obviously the reason that Jeff Bezos is not indexed for this listing is because the word Jeff Bezos is not in the listing, but so that's, you know, reason number so one. So why are you not indexed? What are the reasons? Mm -hmm. Uh, not in the listing. That's the most common. All right. Uh, well, a valid problem. All right. Another word is, uh, or another word. Another reason is it could be a forbidden word. All right. Uh, what is a forbidden word? You know, like drug related words or words that Amazon doesn't like, like free or, um, yeah, so lifetime if, warranty if you, or something. So that's something that they don't like. If you, know? you watch the do's and do nots of keywords, we have a list of things you should not do. Uh, there's a, you know, a kind of a, like a list of like 10 categories or things you don't do. And speaking of categories, what's the other one about categories? The categories, Amazon might say, this is not a relevant keyword to this category. So just because you're putting it in your listing, we're not going to, to allow you to rank or not rank. I should say, we're not going to allow you to index that. Uh, what are, what is an example of that? Well, like maybe you have a cell phone case you want to, you want to rank or you want to index for cell phone case, but your product is in the beauty category for whatever reason. Well, I pretty much guarantee that Amazon is not going to allow you to index for there just because you put that word in your listing. Yeah. And this is actually like uh, pretty, something pretty interesting. So I had a friend who was selling something in the beauty category. Mm -hmm. Um, and there was a word that had water is water something. Okay. With something related to his product and he could rank for, uh, you know, something before water related to his product and water after, but he did not index for the word water. That's pretty Only smart by water. the algorithm. Yeah. yeah. It knows that, Hey, people looking for water are not looking for beauty products. And so it knows, but now if it were in household and kitchen, maybe it would rank because like, okay, maybe a water, you know, like something, but yeah. So the algorithm is getting smarter over time. And here's the key. If you're not indexing, like for these more singular things, it might actually be good. Like, uh, if you're going to try to like force indexing, like make sure you're forcing something that's worth your time. Um, so category was one that yeah. you said, I didn't know that that was, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Forbidden. All if right. It's forbidden. If it's forbidden, don't, why, why would you list getting your risk? Trademark it, words. You know, yeah. You know. Oh, okay. So trademark. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, competitor brand names, competitor brand names. Yep. And there, sometimes you don't even know if a word's trademark. Like well, I, I had a friend complain to me, I got my listing removed because it had farts in the word and, and Amazon informed me that somebody in 2018 at the end, uh, trademarked the word farts. And now you can't use farts in a listing. Who would have known? Patent trolls. Anyways, what is the point here? What are there any more? If you guys have any other ones that you know of, we want to list them down. You got any other off the top of your head? Um, the other reason is maybe you, uh, like for example, um, it's, uh, if this is still the case right now, you can only usually index for the first 1000 characters in your bullet points. So if you have more than 1000 characters, what's in addition to that will not index in the back end search terms. You're only allowed 250 characters. If you go 260, all 260 are not going to be indexed because you went over the limit. Okay. So you broke the rules of the Amazon category potentially. Mm -hmm. So you might want to see that. So, uh, this is pretty future proof of a video. Uh, maybe one random big thing gets into this list, but if you're following the guidelines set out by Amazon, you're in, in, I mean, all of these are the guidelines at the end of the day, you're not supposed to put your competitor's brand name. Okay. Um, it doesn't want to show irrelevant things. So that makes sense why we're not showing the beauty product for water. Okay. If it's forbidden, I mean, it's pretty obvious that's against the terms of service. And if it's not on the listing, well, it's pretty odd. So here's the thing, like, make sure you're just following the rules and that it's something you would actually sell through. And then if it's in your listing, all right, so it's in there and it's relevant and important and it's not like you're not indexing. Now you put in some time and effort. All right, we got to, we got to fix the algorithm here. So now what can we do to index if we are not indexing? Maybe we'll make another 
video just super quick on how you can index if you're not indexing.